is that participated in and inside that investment she grew her account from twelve hundred dollars to over forty thousand dollars she built a portfolio of over 300 investors and affiliates worldwide and developed a portfolio valued in excess of over 3.4 million dollars and in this investment that you're going to hear about tonight she grew her investment by 50 percent in her first 10 days and she did that while she was on vacation for seven days in Hawaii. That is the kind of growth I'm talking about right there. So you're going to see in just a moment why they call her the blockchain queen. So please give me some four or fives. Please give me some hearts. Please help me welcome to the line, Ms. Tanya Lawrence. Hello, Miss Carly. Hello, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the video was playing, and I could see my little thumbnail pictures over to the side, and Carly was jamming, so I start jamming, too. Thank you, Carly, for always bringing the energy, getting everyone pumped up after a long day to hear something that can absolutely change their lives. Everyone give it up for Miss Carly Gwynn. She is not only a servant leader, she's a true leader, leader. She's one of the first people in our organization to reach a leadership rank with this platform. I am always excited to be around her, near her, fear her, feel her energy and participate in her space and her universe. So guys, Again, my name is Tanya Lawrence. Very happy to be here with you from Columbia, Maryland. The energy has been palpable over the last 14 days. Every single day I am talking to someone, hearing about their lives, how their lives are changing, uh, the things that this investment portfolio that we've created is going to allow them to do the things that they thought that they had to put on the shelf or were never possible. And so Having all of that come to reality for them has been amazing. But if you're brand new to this call, you're hearing this information for the first time, I want you to start to think about yourself, what this platform can do for you and your family, for your last name, for your legacy. I'm going to share my screen here and get right into what we're talking about. And that is FinTech. FinTech, sorry. All right, we're going to get to a full screen view here. As Carly shared, my background is as an investment banker. And when this platform was introduced to us, I was ecstatic because it's tied in my passion for blockchain technology and also my background in the lending space. And so now I get to help people be a part of an industry that is going to continue to change, but now they get to figure out how to monetize it right now, all right? So if you're new again, please feel very comfortable that I am going to make this very easy to understand. And when you walk away from here, you will not be an expert in blockchain technology, and that's okay because you probably still aren't an expert on your cell phone, right? But you figured out how to use it, how to call the people you need to call, how to take a picture, and, and for most people, how to send a picture. And there's so much more that's capable and possible on your cell phone. The same thing is happening here in this space. We're going to show you how to use this technology to earn a income for yourself, to do some things that you want to do with this investment that you thought you had to put on the shelf. And you're going to be able to do that while continuing to learn how this industry is growing, evolving, and how you can participate in it. The name of the company that we're going to be talking about today is Fintoc. And I'm going to welcome you right now, as Carly already did, to our Foresight Business Academy. This is where we put earnings on automation. We have multiple streams of income in our academy that can help you. And this is just one of the many. Uh, first, an income disclaimer and a liability disclaimer. I am not a fi registered financial advisor. This information is for... Uh, entertainment purposes only. Speak with your financial advisor if you have tax questions or anything like that. The information that we're giving you is direct from the company or third-party sources that we've decided to share with you and uh, take it at that. 
Okay, so when I'm talking about third party sources, whenever you're looking at a, a new, or excuse me, a new industry, the ability to invest your hard earned money into something, I, I want you to take these notes. It's very important to look at credible sources, sources that are vested in that industry, stakeholders in that industry, experienced in that industry. There's a difference when you go and look for credible sources like Binance Feed, and you can write down the website for this particular article. There's a difference between credible sources like Binance Feed and someone who's trying to get likes or clicks or comments. It doesn't matter if they're positive comments or negative comments, people on social media and YouTube, they make money based on clicks and comments. So you cannot take the information that they say really with a grain of salt. You have to go to sources that are experienced in the industry and can give you valuable feedback. One of these sources is Binance Feed. It's a third-party platform that out articles about digital currency, blockchain technology, the technology that is advancing around us every day. And one of the so one such article is this one here. It talks about the top five crypto projects with the highest audit trust scores. Guys, these are the top five projects that have been audited by one of the largest auditing companies called CoinQ for 2022. Fintech just happened to be one of those top five companies in the world with the highest audit trust score. Again, write this part, this website down, Binance.com, and you can see the, the end part with the particular article here. They went on to say in this article that something that made Zentac very um, attractive to people is the fact that when their investors provide loans to borrowers, there's something called an automatic stop loss that's put in place. And that automatic stop loss prevents the borrower, or excuse me, the investor from losing their funds or being at risk of losing their funds. And I'll go into more detail and explain what that means. But again, this is a third party uh, source, a credible third party source talking about the industry as a whole. They're not just talking about fin Fintech, the company. They're talking about five other companies. And Fintech is one of them with the highest trust score for their audit in 2022. Here's what the app looks like. Don't use this uh, QR code to scan it because you're going to want to talk with the person who refers you to the platform. They are going to give you the most uh, updated app and access to the platform. You can download it on your Android, your iPhone, and you have your money in your pocket anywhere you go in a decentralized wallet. When I explain what a decentralized wallet is, I hope your mind is as blown as mine was. Okay, here is another one of those credible sources that you can look at. This is Market Watch, another platform. The actual link to the website is on the side. You can write that down while I'm talking. FinTech, at this article, it talks about uh, March of this year. So just recently wins the top 10 Web3. Web3 is another name for blockchain technology. It's the next version of the internet. This is what will take over the internet. So you need to be abreast of what's happening, first of all, and how your family benefits from it financially. So Web3 Technology Innovation Award, they were uh, recognized by their home country uh, in Hong Kong, which is major. To have your own country recognize you as one of the top three uh, technology advanced companies in the world is something that is commendable. Again, third party credibility from reliable sources is where you want to get your information. And when you're talking about something new and looking at a company to see if it's credible, if it has legs, what others are saying about it that actually matter. So DeFi and FinTech, DF FinTech LLC is the company, the parent company and it offers the ability to have peer-to-peer -peer 
blockchain finance. What that means is that now, instead of going to the, uh, excuse me, the borrower going to the bank and trying to get a loan, now they can have an individual like yourself borrow or lend them the money and you can benefit in the profits that are taking place. And this is all done with blockchain technology. It is the most secure way to transact money back and forth. Banks are using it right now to do large, large wire transactions. And so you get to participate in this space and it's so easy. They made it very, very user-friendly. And that's what I want you to focus on here. Again, this is another article by finance.yahoo.com. Certec is a company and they're talking about blockchain peer-to-peer short-term loan financing. This is an industry that is massive. It may not be something that you've heard about, but it's happening every day. Banks are fearful of what's happening. Banks and financial institutions are used to people coming to them, asking them for money, you know, begging, putting up collateral, pledging their firstborn child, you know, all of these different things that they require for you to get money from them in credit cards at usually very high interest rates dependent on the borrower. But what's happening now is that individuals are able to participate in finance transactions between individuals. This advancement in technology is revolutionary. And here are just some of the investors that have decided to participate in this space. And I'm sure you've heard of some of these type of investors. Uh, Goldman Sachs, one of the largest companies in the United States. Coinbase, one of the largest platforms for cryptocurrency in the United States. Yale University, the brightest minds in the United States are investing in this space. This is a space that's going to continue to grow with or without us. And here's your opportunity to put your toe in and learn while you're earned. All right. Certic is also did an audit and their trust score was 87 out of 100. That is phenomenal. That's phenomenal for a brand new company that is in a technology space dealing with billions of dollars of revenue. Again, here is the link for the article so that you can do a deep dive, dig into it yourself. Skynet, excuse me, skynet.certic.com projects slash slash fintech. All right. So blockchain peer-to-peer short-term loan financing. Is this something that's real? Guys, here are the top eight smart contract audit companies. Certic is one of them. And they are the company that vetted Fintech. All right. And they were um, world's largest blockchain audit company the 5th of December last year. They vetted Fintech. So again, we are really going hard in showing you that this company has legs, that these third-party companies have done the research, embedded it, and so that you don't have to go out and let someone steal and rob from your legacy. You know, sometimes when uh, there is something that's new and you go and you might ask someone who does not have as much experience and didn't hear the same information you did, they can steal from you. They can steal from your future. They can steal from your legacy. I'll, I'll give you a quick example. When Bitcoin first came out, everybody knows what Bitcoin is now. When Bitcoin first came out, We had a client in our investment banking firm, and he wanted to pay us our retainer. It was a non-refundable retainer in order to engage us for our services. Our retainer was $25,000. That's what clients paid just to be able to have us start working for them. And he wanted to pay us in a currency called Bitcoin. At that time, you guys are are watching Bitcoin right now. It's about $28,000 in value. At that time, Bitcoin was 10 cents a coin. I had never heard of it. 
We were sitting in my office. It was late at night. And I was just like, man, I'm exhausted. I can't even process what the heck you're talking about. It's not real. It's not paper. It's not a credit card. This doesn't make any sense to me. Let me talk to my attorneys. I reached out to our law firm that represented our investment banking firm. They were a very well-renowned law firm. They represented banks across the country and, of course, represented our investment banking firm because we worked with most of those banks. They took took about two days to get back to me. We had a long conversation about it and they summed it up with stay away from it. You're going to go to jail if you deal with Bitcoin. It's illegal. It's a scam. It's never going to last. Guys, they didn't mean mean me any harm, but they were ill-informed. And we paid them a lot of money to be informed. They went to the competitors, which were the banks, to do their research, their due diligence, and then give us a solid answer because they wanted to protect us. That's sometimes what happens in life with people who have good intentions. They cost me about a gajillion dollars, right? And so we are still a little bit upset with them, but here we are now, right? And so you have to be in a position where you're getting valuable information from someone who has the information that can help you make a solid decision. All right, FinTalk is truly a DeFi 2.0 platform. DeFi simply means that uh, there are platforms like Coinbase that we've all heard of, Cash App, where you can buy Bitcoin. Those platforms, you're able to buy digital currency, but you have to provide your driver's license. You have to provide a picture of your face, all of your personal information. It's just like going to a bank and getting a bank account. That's being centralized. That is eventually in putting you in a position that it's going to be regulated just like a bank. The government is working very hard to figure out how to tax everything that they can. All right. And so Bitcoin is just one of those things. Bitcoin was made by the people and for the people. It's made for there to be even playing field between countries around the globe. It's made so that you as an individual are in control of your funds. And these funds are not supposed to be governed by any country, okay? And so DeFi allows you to open your own crypto wallet without identification, and you are in control of your own funds, how much you can move, where you can move it, when you move it. Here are some of the top DeFi wallets that are out there. One of them that we use is MetaMask. Exodus is another one that's not on here. But here are just a few of the DeFi uh, platforms that are available to use, all right? And so here's the meat and potatoes. This is what's in it for you. Remember I talked about what's in it for you. Before I even talk about how this platform works, I I know right now your eyes are crossed and you're feeling like kind of glaze over. It's late at night for some people here in the United States. I want you to just take a second. And think about that dream that was deferred. Was it moving somewhere that you really wanted to live? Was it sending your kid to a particular college that you since discovered might be out of your budget? Was it retiring your parents, you know, being able to take them places that they've always dreamed of going? And because they took such great care of you, you wanted to be able to take care of them. What is it? It's a dream deferred. Is it funding a project, an orphanage? Did you have a passion project that you're just so bogged down with life that you aren't able to get to your passion? Open your mind to being able to access your passion again, that dream deferred. And I'm going to show you how it's done. Guys, there are billions of dollars moving around the world and the universe has sent you here today to show you how you can put yourself in a position to participate in putting your dreams back into your reality, okay? So if you follow my cursor here, it's kind of moving on the left-hand side of the screen. This is you. And I want you to draw the same diagram out for yourself because later when you try to explain it to yourself or to your spouse who wasn't here or your best friend, they're going to be like, it was, you know, this moved here and this moved here. And then we kind of did something. So 
draw yourself a picture. Indulge me right now. Draw this picture out for yourself. You are the lender. No more the bank as the lender. You are the lender. And you get to lend money to people on this platform, this FinTalk platform, and you get to earn 1% a day from the people who are borrowing money. FinTalk, using technology, the blockchain and the technology involved there, will provide a multi-signature loan contract. It's called a smart contract. It's done within seconds. It's on the blockchain. It's secure through blockchain technology, okay? The borrower in this instance is someone who's using one of those DeFi platforms that I talked about, and they're trading cryptocurrencies. They're trading Forex. These may be large institutions. These may be very experienced individuals who are able to earn anywhere from 10 to 1,000% a day return on their money. And now they have something that's much smarter. They have the ability to borrow someone else's money, pay 2% interest a day, and turn around and earn a profit on that money. These loan contracts are very short loan contracts. They get seven days to borrow this money and return it. That's all they need. They can make a significant amount of money on this money that they're borrowing. So FinTech put together the technology. The borrower is borrowing the funds. They're paying 2%. FinTech, because we're putting our capital up, is letting us split the profits. They're giving us 1%. No. Now, guys, let me help you understand. You're already doing this. And you're like, what the heck is she talking about? If you have more than $1 in a bank account, you're already doing this. But the bank's not sharing any of the money with you. Despicable. Absolutely despicable. Here is technology made by the people, for the people, and now they're going to show you what's the next level, what's, a, what's viable, what's coming, what's coming down the pike. Guys, this is just the beginning with blockchain technology, okay? So here's an example. A borrower borrows, say, $10,000. As a part of the security, they have to put $5,000 cash as a deposit. So the contract states that once they start trading, and here are the platforms that they're allowed to trade on because the blockchain technology is going to monitor their trades, second, millisecond by millisecond. They're allowed to trade on PancakeSwap, Uniswap, and SunSwap, okay? That smart contract will shut off at 70%. If they get beyond 30% in losses at any second, that contract shuts off. And remember, they borrow, they borrow 10000 They put $5,000 away in cash. So if it cuts off at 30%, that means that only 3000 was potentially lost in that loan, but they already put down a $5,000 deposit. So you as the investor never lose a penny. Guys, this that is the most phenomenal thing, you know. And then the that borrower is not able to borrow on the platform again, um, and that is how your risk is mitigated. However, if everything goes okay, that borrower borrows for seven days. They pay two percent a day. You earn one percent. And there's some borrowers out there that may only need money for one day, and those borrowers pay two and a half percent. And so that's an extra pot of money that the company shares with us, all right? So here are some of the types of currencies that are being swapped that you've probably never even heard of. They're being swapped on PancakeSwap, Uniswap, and SunSwap. These currencies may be a, a fraction of a penny or a few cents. And the small incremental change in the value 
leaves a lot of money to be made, a lot of money to be earned. And when Carly talked about the Foresight Academy being a place where you can learn to diversify your portfolio, guys, it doesn't just stop at having your money make money for you. You will learn what to do with your dollar. You know, we don't want anyone to be in a position that they earn a lot of money um, and they're like a, someone who got a settlement or um, won a lawsuit or, you know, it's some of the major league players, they get money. And then after their career, they're broke because no one ever educated them on what to do with a dollar. We're going to teach you that in the Foresight Academy. All right. Remember, I talked about it being just the beginning. The lending aspect is just the beginning. FinTech will have a lot of different companies that will come into play and allow you to participate financially if you decide to. Here is something that's completely optional. And I don't know about you. For me, anything that I do, I'm always looking to empower others. With our investment banking firm, my husband started it 24 years ago. I was there for 14 of the 24 years. And we work with businesses who need it, like Carly said, anywhere from a million to $200 million. Most of those businesses were successful businesses. The business owners were successful in their own rights. And so they were okay. We were helping financially solid people, people who pay us a $25,000 retainer without thinking about it because they knew how to hire professionals to get them where they wanted to go, all right? Now we get to help individuals. When I tell you, my, I wake up excited in the morning because I get to help individuals. So it's something that's in me. It's what I love to do. If it's not what you love to do, skip this part. Close your eyes for a little se- for a few seconds because it may not be for you. But what I want you to think about, there aren't just people out there who may need access to this information. You may have a sister. You may have an auntie. You may have a grandmother. You may have a best friend who's on a job that looking at her 401k and saying, man, I can't retire in two years like I thought I wanted to. There are people out there with real life situations whose jobs will be replaced in the coming years because of blockchain technology. And if you're thinking, no, this can't happen. uh, If you're somewhere like uh, the DMV area, go to a Royal Farm, a Royal Farms gas station and go to check out at the checkout counter, there aren't any employees there. It's all automated. In restaurants, in hotels, you go places now and there are robots delivering your food, delivering your towels to your room. Automation, blockchain technology are changing the landscape. If you aren't willing to look at another way to earn an income and have your money make money for you, Guys, you're putting yourself and your family in detriment. And I'm not saying FinTalk is the company for you. I'm saying that it's time to start looking at money a different way, okay? And so when you're thinking about that, think about the other people that care about you. Think about the person that when you weren't feeling well, called you and said, hey, here's the cough medicine, the all natural medicine that I take that really helped me heal. Who's the person that said, you know what? I know you're getting hosed at the Mercedes dealership. Here's an authorized Mercedes mechanic that's off the beaten path that's going to save you about 60% on that same repair. Think about those people. And those are the people that you tell about this. Those are the people that you want to empower to be able to change your lives because they care about you too. And the company is going to pay you handsomely for it. So that person, they're investing their money. The company doesn't take anything from them. The company will pay you a referral fee though, right? And let's say that person that you referred is your sister. She helped you out last time you were sick. She brought you some soup and you want to make sure that she's good so that she can bring you soup whenever she wants to, right? Um, So she starts with $10,000. She's going to earn her 1% a day. She's happy. She That 1% a day equals $100. Well, the company says, thank you very much for referring your sister. We're going to pay you 15% of whatever your sister earns every single day that she earns it for the rest of her life. 
that in this scenario would be 15 extra dollars a day going into your pocket that you didn't work for. Companies everywhere are doing this. If you are on Cash App, if you bank with Bank of America, pretty much any financial platform you can think of want you to refer your friends and family because they know you'll tell your friends and family and they'll join them before a commercial convinces them. And so that's what FinTech, FinTech decided to do as well. They go two levels deep. Let's say your sister joins at 10,000, but she also tells her husband about it. She refers him. Her husband is in at 10,000. Now he's earning his 1% a day, living his best life um, at $100 extra a day. Guys, $100 extra a day, that's about three grand a month. Someone putting $10,000 away that if they would have decided, okay, I have $10,000 and I need to use this to pay their bills, that's three months of their mortgage if the mortgage is, is $3,000. After that, they got about a grand left. They need to figure out what to do next. However, if they put that money to work for them, there's the potential of earning $3,000 a month on that same money. Which one makes more sense to you? Which one might make more sense to them? Okay. And then on top of that, because you told them about it, you get money. So just on those two people, that would be a potential $25 a day coming to you that you did nothing to earn. This is what I'm talking about, thinking differently about money. We're very used to being in a place where we feel like it's not right if we don't go to work and work per hour to earn a, a dollar. Well, let me help you understand when you're looking, you're, you're watching TV, you're, you're looking at um, some of the things that you, you wish you could enjoy or you ride past a beautiful home and you see the, the lady coming out in her yoga gear in the middle of the day while you're on your lunch break and she's stepping in her nice car. She didn't go to work and work a job per hour and her husband, I guarantee you, did not do that as well. They had investment strategies. There's that's the only way. There's not enough hours in a day for someone to really work enough to pay for luxuries in life, pay for the ability to be able to set their family up for generational wealth. You might be able to leave an inheritance through insurance, but we're talking about multi-generational wealth. There are there are families with family banking systems where they are. 10, 20 generations of wealth, away, or 10, 20 generations away, away from ever having anyone in that family ever needing to borrow a dollar outside of that family. They're not special. They just had information to, and access to things that you didn't have, that your great grandparents didn't have. This is your time to do what their great-grandparents and their great-great-grandparents had the courage to do. Step outside of the box and put a plan together for the generations to come. Guys, here's a simple compounding chart. If you're on your phone, take a screenshot. If you're on a computer, take a picture from your cell phone. This is powerful. This shows you how your money can work for you. And at any amount, it makes a huge difference. In a year, having your money work for you instead of you working for your money, okay? Um, so let's look at, let's say $100. At 1% a day, that's a dollar a day coming back to you. At the end of the year, that is $6,400 that came back to you from that $100 being put to work. That's mind-blowing. You will never get that from a bank. You will never get that one from your, from your 401k putting your money to work and getting a 6,400% return in a year, it's phenomenal. I, I don't know about you. Anybody else feeling this? Because I'm not seeing the chats moving. It, like Carly said, it's a quiet night. I know it's Monday, but guys, is anyone feeling this? The ability to have your money grow at 6,400% in one year. Let's look at some different numbers. What if you had your money in at 5,000? We talked about the daily 1%. You're getting about $50 a day. But look at that. In this column here, in month two, whatever you start with, your money doubles in about 63 days. Guys, this is some really easy math for you to start putting together for yourself. 
how much money do you want to have double in the next 63 days? Don't get off this call and ask someone, how much you think I should start with? That is none of our business. And if anyone tells you an amount, they're wrong for doing that. This is about you, your family, your legacy, and what you need. You never invest anything you can't afford to lose because nothing's guaranteed. But guys, here's what's happening for us. All right. So $5,000, it doubles in two months. At the end of the year, it's $320,000. We're paying off mortgages around here in 12 months. Let's say someone is in a position where they had $100,000, you know, retirement, a settlement, um, home equity loan, whatever it is. What do you think now that you've had your mind just, just pushed a little bit in a different direction? Does it make more sense to take that $100,000 and figure out how to make it stretch over the next few years, I'm like, okay, still going to live modestly, still going to keep my mortgage at about 3000 a month, you know, still going to live modestly, or does it make more sense? So that's option one. I want to see some ones or twos in the chat. Number one, figure out how to make that money work for, or, you know, make that money stretch or number two, make the money work for you. Take that $100,000 and put it to work so that it's earning a thousand dollars a day. Guys, if you can't figure out what, how to live off $1,000 a day, you might not be doing it right, first of all. In two months, it's 100000 That gives you ability to start thinking and strategizing and working to say, okay, maybe I start with my capital. I take out my principal in two months, and now I'm working with house money, whatever it is, whatever your risk mitigation strategy is. Or maybe you say, okay, I see this. I see what's been happening. I see that they had 13 million users on the platform before they even came to the United States. I'm not missing the boat this time. I'll take that 100,000, I'll put it up for a year and let it earn $6.4 million. Which one is better, one or two? Make it stretch or make it work for you. I, I'm going to love looking in the chat to see what the feedback is on that one. All right. With this platform, I talked about Miss Carly Gwynn, how she is a definite servant leader. But guys, we have a ton of other servant leaders in our company. These are people who said, I'm not just thinking about myself. I'm going to help other people that I care about, other people that I've thought about for years, that I've worked with and been around, and I'm going to show them what I know. How many times have you been somewhere with someone and you're like, well, why didn't you tell me that? Well, why wouldn't you share that with me? They're going to feel the same way when they see your $100,000 go to $6.4 million in a year. They will definitely wonder why you didn't think about them because they might not have $100,000. They may have had five hundred. dollars They may have wanted to figure out how to make that $500 make a difference in their family's lives, right? And so there are people who are out here who've done that. Our GMs is the first rank. Those are people who helped at least five people start their platforms and have a total team investment of $50,000, that puts them in a position to earn an estimated $100 a day just from helping people. That doesn't include their own portfolio. This is extra money, right? Guys, we have so many. We've been around working on this for 16 days, only 16 days. I can't even remember all of the GMs. There's so many. If you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, if you're on Zoom right now and you know a GM, put their names in the chat. Let's celebrate them. They deserve all the accolades out there. My husband is one of them. I'm very proud of him for the people that he served and helped, right? We also have some VPs in the house. Um, I know we have Dr. Marika Garner and our fearless leader, Mrs. Kim Bean, as our first two VPs in the company or in our um, portfolio. Very proud of them. They've helped create other GMs. They are earning way beyond $300. This says a range of $150 to $300. They were earning way beyond $300 a day. And our very own Mr. Bean is a senior VP. And currently, as of today, we just looked, he shared his numbers with us. He's earning 
over $2,000 a day. The company does not cap you on your desire to help people. It goes all the way up to MD. And guys, if right now our at our senior VP is making over $2,000 a day and we have a system in our Foresight Academy that can help you reach your potential, whatever you want, imagine putting yourself in a position that you're out here because you put the work in. Guys, it's not easy. Nothing is. Nothing worth it is. But you put the work in. You work with us. You learn some new things. And you earned over $30,000 a day. It is absolutely here and available for you. There's a footnote here that as you're helping someone, if they rank up and meet your same level, the company gives you a week to hurry up and catch up. And, and if not, then that person reaches that rank and takes the income for that position, rightfully so. All right. So here is one of the things that our fearless leader, Mr. Bean, the head of our and the creator of our Foresight Academy is doing. Um, excuse my neighbor's dog. Sorry. Um, he is put he put together a contest for us that ends May 15th that allows you to go out, serve other people, become one of the GMs in the company, and he will put your name in the drawing. The details are in our Facebook group. So make sure the person who invited you tonight puts you in our Facebook group. In that Facebook group, you'll get all the details, but imagine having someone like him who's already earning over $2,000 a day become one of your investors. He will take your referral link, start his position all over again, and go out there and build it under you. Imagine the possibility. So this will happen for someone. The deadline's May 15th. The name will be drawn May 17th. You have the ability to be one of those people. All you got to go do is go out there and help people. There was a hackathon held in October 2022. This was phenomenal. This was in the United States. They have many events around the world, but for them to come to the United States and have this hackathon, have the brightest minds in the world come to hear about uh, Fintox DeFi technology, the things that they're doing, the investment, the advancements that they're making, come and, and talk about this and gather the brightest minds. Guys, this tells you we are onto something big and they were just touching down in the United States. So we're at the very beginning. Here is a, a, a graph of the ownership percentage of the company. Right now, the investors have about 30% of the stock. Fintech has about 15, 52%. And a Middle East royal family has about 18%. There's a great article out there about the investment that they made, the cash investment they made into the company. Um, Fintech has a uh, directive that they're moving towards to get put on the NASDAQ IPO before 2025. Many of us, we talked about this for the last couple of weeks. We were in a position where we wish we would have been at the beginning of something before it went public. Think Amazon. Think Starbucks. There's so many other companies out there that in our lifetime over the last 10, 20 years went public and made people filthy, filthy rich because they were there when it started. Not because they had a special skill, but because they were there. Guys, this may have the potential to be one of those times, okay? Um, there's over 10 million subscribers. That is absolutely phenomenal. It takes companies years to get a million subscribers. We're talking about an less than two years, over 10 million subscribers with Fintalk. Here are the team members. The, the person registered with the company is William Thompson, the chairman of the board and COO. He is the actual person that runs the company. Um, and there was an Asia Pacific launch event, November of 2022. You see this cool picture here, some very happy faces, people who've been making a lot of money already. And Fintech went global, Hollywood Global Film Festival dinner in 2023 in Bali, Indonesia. Again, over 13 million users before they hit the United States. Here are some of the other places that they touched down. Recently, it was Dubai. Oh my goodness, I wish I could have been there. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Upcoming, they have Tokyo, Japan, and Singapore this year. 
fingers crossed, they will be hitting this side of the globe or uh, providing an opportunity for us to go some, to some of those other places. But in the meanwhile, you get to hang out with the fun people. We have our next mogul event coming up in July of this year, where we will, again, just live the luxury lifestyle that you absolutely deserve. There will be more details coming out about that on our Facebook page. Our next family vacation is already set for 2024. It's a cruise to Cozumel. You get to bring your whole family, celebrate graduation, celebrate kids, you know, finishing the school year and make it a family reunion that was canceled for the last five years. Bring everyone out, have a great time with the Beans and the Foresight Business Academy. Guys, if you're someone, I, I talk to people every day to say, man, I would love to do this. I don't quite know what to say to people. I, I would love to be able to build a portfolio and make this a business for me. We have a partnership with the Grant Cardone Cell Training University. It is a very strategic partnership that allows people, we've seen the growth in individuals who learn how to articulate themselves and help people make their own minds that we are not interested in being pushy. We're not interested in selling anyone anything. We're interested in sharing valuable information and helping people under, figure out if it makes sense for them. And this training platform helps them do that. You also get access to the Foresight Business Academy Earnings on Automation, where you have access to years worth of recorded trainings, information that will, again, help you learn what to do with a dollar. And we also have live events. I want to thank you for joining us on this presentation and get back to the person that invited you um, right away. Let them know if this is something for you. If you have more questions, get your questions answered. And most of all, get your free app downloaded right away. You can get it funded with as little as $100. So if you're, you're saying, you know, I need to think about it. I need to see how it works. You can't really figure out if the car works unless you drive it, right? That's why you test drive the car. Test drive the platform, figure out if it makes sense for you, figure out if you like your money coming to you every day um, without going somewhere and working for it, being away from your kids, your family, your loved ones, and then make some serious decisions for yourself. Or if you've seen enough, you've done enough due diligence and you're ready to go, we're here to welcome you, celebrate you, coach you, and train you. And guys, we are just excited that you're here with us this evening. Look forward to seeing you on the beaches of the world. Good night and God bless. Thank you. That's a celebration. Welcome to the winner circle.